The U.S. eastern seaboard is now feeling the wrath of Hurricane Florence. Flooding threatening even more lives. More than a dozen people killed. Hundreds of people still trapped in their homes. Slow motion disaster in the Carolinas the risk reaching a breaking point. Rising waters with with the angry up waters. to 150 kilometers an hour, tearing down much in their path. My house is out there, but it, it got flooded. And it got flooded again. It's not livable. So they asked, they told me if I got a house that they would come and fix it for me so I can move in. Her home under flood conditions, she'd been waiting for, she's been waiting for two years to be repaired. So while that happened, the home that she was going to move back in and work on, because of the high water level, they discovered rot of the cinders and the blocks and the two by fours and the trim all the way around the house. And then the termites came and then the termites ate that away. So the city declared the home unhabitable. So she had no home. Living with friends, my daughter, my son, back and forth with everybody. The people that she was living with from time to time said, at the end of a couple months, go find someplace else to live. You can't live with us any longer. Okay. From that, she now has no home. Her mother dies, her stepfather dies. My daddy and I just lost my mom in November. And I said, man, what am I going to do? But I just got to keep going. It's a hurtful thing, but I got to keep going. Now she's faced with nothing. Her prior stepfather had this home that we worked on. Said, hey, I bought this home seven years ago, but it got flooded out. I can't live in it and won't live in it. You can buy it from me. So Cassandra says, I don't have any money to buy it. He says, give me one dollar. So he's, I'm gonna get goosebumps. So he gave her this home for one dollar. Now with that, she had to do a lot of repairs. So now she's got a home, but she has no money to fix it. In comes PDA, Presbyterian Disaster Assistance teams. So for the last seven weeks, teams have been coming there to repair this home and bring it back to life. So she went from no home to a home, to repairs that she couldn't afford, to the repairs that are all done. And now we moved her furniture and everything back in. So she's in the process of moving in this week. And after two and a half years, she'll have her own home. She was in tears the other day when I was talking to her because she does. she's not a believer in Jesus. She's not a believer in God. But I just said to her, Cassandra, I can hear you. I've not walked in your shoes, but I can have a sense of being without. But look at what has happened. You had no place to live. You lost your home. You got a home for a dollar. You've got all this work and labor for free. You got all the materials for free. You've got furniture and to house your home. You got new floors and all that cost you nothing. And besides that, you got people who came to help you who don't even know you who's never been here before and you'll never meet again. And that's God's grace to me. You came here, you had nothing, and others have given it to you on behalf of God. And that's what this is all about. That's what Presbyterian Disaster Assistance is, is helping hands and helping hearts, helping somebody else. So I think most folks that go on a PDA trip really see themselves as being the hands and feet of Jesus. It's an opportunity to actually put our faith in action and help share love. And I've heard stories over the years of different conversations people have had with homeowners who really appreciate the, the reason that people are coming to help serve them, to be able to share God's love with them. And it's really powerful for those people who go. They always come back feeling like they, even though they've worked really hard, they've gotten more out of it than they've put into it. So that's one of the wonderful things about serving. For me, the most rewarding part I've found in doing this is the people that we meet at the end of our assistance come talk to us. They thank us, and that's why I do this. As an organization, I think it's the coming together of people, uh, people who don't think they have skills to come to a site. They're coming to work on someone's home they've never met before. They have no connection with, but they're, they're willing to leave their homes and come and help others. And, you know, Presbyterian Disaster System, that's what it's all about.